Hey, it's Paul. Let's take a look at RxJS once again, and now we're going to look at creating observables using the from method. So let's say we have an observable. Once again, we're going to have my observable is equal to rx.observable.from, and the from means we can pass in a particular value. So if we had the value hi, and then we subscribed to that observable, and I'm just going to log this out to the console, we get h and i, because each one of the strings is passed in as the on next call. If we add this to an array and run it again, we actually get the string itself hi, instead of two different characters. We could make a function, so let's say we had let ob, and we'll call it our observable, and this will be equal to a function with some arguments, and then we can return the observable from with those arguments, like that. We can then say ob and then pass in some arguments. So I'm going to pass in an array with the numbers 1, 2, 3. And then we're going to subscribe to that observable and log the result out to the console. And we get 1, 2, and 3. With this, we can also perform map events. So we can map once again, and this time we're going to take the value, and we will times the value by 4. And we get 4, 8, and 12. So this is just another way to make an observable, and I recommend we do it like this. So creating observables using the from and passing in some arguments. We can then subscribe to the observable, and of course, during this point in time, we can also map out and do a variety of other operators. So this is using the from method when creating observables. My name's Paul. If you like this, ensure to hit that subscribe button. We've got way more RxJS content on the way. And until that time, I'll see you in the next video.